Hi students and a very warm welcome to an academy platform. This is Aryaman Chatterjee, your English educator for class 9th and 10th. And students, the chapter that we are going to cover today is called From the Diary of Anne Frank. Very interesting chapter hai and more so because this particular person, Anne Frank, you know, she became extremely popular after she passed away. Unfortunately, uh, she passed away very, very at a very young age and uh, she is one of the most popular Jewish, uh, you know, victims of the Holocaust. Holocaust, as you know, in World War II, mein, you know, uh, during the Nazi era, the Nazi people had, uh, you know, uh, taken Jew people and they had put them into these concentration camps and lot of torture kiya tha un logo. And out of all of this came out this one diary. And this diary was written by none other than the protagonist of our story, Anne Frank. And that diary was, uh, you know, uh, found by her father after she passed away. And he, when he read it, he thought that it was a very, very unique, uh, you know, uh, perspective on what was happening during uh, those uh, concentration camps. Kya ho ra tha? How, uh, you know, the Nazi people were ill-treating the Jew people in those concentration camps. And it was an account of, it was a first-hand account of, you know, um, the whole experience of that uh, concentration camp and the Holocaust during the World War II. And this particular uh, excerpt, which is, uh, you know, it's a, it's a small part of that whole diary. That diary stretched across a couple of years. So, this story is a very small portion hai, and it is a beautiful portion. It does not have any sadness. In fact, it's a very funny portion because there is an interaction between a teacher and a student. Ka. And how, you know, back in the days, uh, the schools used to be extremely strict, right? So, how uh, that strict teacher you know, changes with, you know, in relation to what Anne Frank does. Uh, so it's it's a very, very interesting uh, story. We are not going to waste any more time. We'll dig in right into it. So, uh, but before that, let me tell you that you can ace your uh, school exams with Unacademy plus subscriptions. Yes, flat 10% off on using my code, which is CHAT10. Uh, students, my name is Ariman Chatterjee, as I've already said. I have completed my graduation in English from Delhi University and after that I have post, uh, pursued post-graduation in mass communication and I have a teaching experience of 10 plus years and uh, let's talk about an academy plus subscription. Yaar. Ye hi amazing feature. Hai. Uh, this feature allows you to become the best version of yourself. Yes, as a student, you can absolutely ace your exams and all what you need, all the small things which you need to give you that extra push that have been incorporated in this particular subscription. Like, of course, you can learn from the comfort of your home and you can get access to the top educating minds of this country who work with an academy. And of course, uh, you know, you will also get regular doubt solving sessions. There will be very, very detailed coverage of the syllabus. Uh, there will be mentorship and guidance. There will be study material provided to you in PDF format, practice test, live test series, batch courses, a lot of things that will ensure that you will excel in your exams and score nothing less than the best of your ability. And you can also get a discount of flat 10% if you use my code, which is CHAT10. Yes, the code is CHAT10. Flat 10% discount will be If you have 18 months ka plus subscription course, the normal pricing is 20,000. After using my code, that gets reduced to 18,000. So, 10% discount and uh, another example I can give you that 24 months ka plus subscription that costs 25,000 or reduce okay ho 22,500 ka. So don't wait and avail these amazing discounts that you're getting on an academy platform by using my code which is CHAT10. Very simple code and uh, boys and girls I'm sure that you are aware of the Unacademy Combat Scholarship Test. This dhamak, scholarship test every Sunday ko hota hai and uh, 30 questions, 45 minutes, no investment and you can win scholarships worth 1 CR, yes, 1 crore. That is a lot of money and a lot of lives can be changed. All you need to do is participate. That's all you have to do. Download the Learners app and on Sundays, go and participate. For class 9th and 10th students, the test timing is at 11 a.m. But even the 6th, 7th, 8th, uh, class 6th, 7th and 8th students can also participate on this Sunday. Uh, the test timing for them is 12 p.m. And for class 11th and 12th, the test timings are at 1 p.m. Yes. 
and don't forget whenever you enroll in this free combat test do put my reference code which is chat 10 yes and of course you get a chance to win prizes yes a lot of prizes now iit je and neat ug preppers you know it's time for you to go for some subscriptions because there are some massive discounts that you're going to get uh, for class 9 students buy 2 years of cbse course and get 25% flat off on the second year iit je and neat ug course and 2 years free validity starting from today so you you can uh, save as much as 75% and class 10 students you know you can buy one year cbse course and get 20% flat off on two years worth of iit je neat ug course and one year pre validity starting from today so you can save up to 53% but this uh, you know offer is limited it's only valid till 8th august 21 so and another thing that i want to tell you about is this amazing offers the free the free things that you get with the subscriptions uh, 12 15 ya 18 mahine ke academy plus ya iconic subscriptions ke sath you get free subscription the free cbse subscription for 2 years uh, for 2 months i'm sorry for 2 months and free creative corner subscription for 2 months and with the subscription of the iconic and the plus subscription uh, you know the, the subscription time increases your free subscription time also increases like for 24 36 or 48 months of plus or iconic subscription you get 4 months of free cbse subscription and 4 months of free creative corner subscription so what are you waiting for absolutely grab these free goodies along with the subscription and go for it and don't forget to use my code which is chat10 now an academy iconic subscription gives you uh, the benefit of one on one mentorship ठीक है लाइव डाउट सॉल्विंग सेशन मिल जाएगा आपको यू गेट अ वीकली डिटेल्ड रिपोर्ट ऑफ यू नो द क्लासेस दैट यू बीन अटेंडिंग एंड योर परफॉर्मेंसेस टेस्ट्स एंड क्विजेस एंड योर पेरेंट्स कैन आल्सो बी इन यू नो कांटेक्ट विद योर मेंटर सो दैट दे कैन डिस्कस हाउ योर ट्रैजेक्टरी ऑफ द प्रोग्रेस यू नो दैट यू आर मेकिंग इज हेडिंग टुवर्ड्स यू नो एंड स्टडी प्लानर हो जाएगा ठीक है यू विल गेट स्टडी ट्रैकर प्लान विद मंथली रिव्यूज एंड हाइलाइट्स ऑन योर प्रोग्रेस all the other benefits of an academy subscription so don't wait at all go for these subscriptions they are going to benefit you as a student and you will definitely be better when you take these subscriptions your marks will improve i can guarantee you that all right and of course you will get a discount all you need to do is use my code which is chat10 yes my code is chat10 months of uh, an academy iconic subscription which is for 28000 rupees after using my code reduces to 25200 uh, 18 months of iconic subscription which is for 35000 after using my code that reduces to 31500 so better use my code and avail all these discounts and students don't forget to like share and subscribe if you like the way i teach please spread the word around and do like share and subscribe let's crack it let's get going so before we start with the story uh, thoda sa background janna zaruri hai i'm franka so we are going to quickly uh, you know uh, brush through the the background of the story and uh, i'm going to explain it to you don't worry uh, let's first find out a little bit about annelies marie frank all right anne frank she was a german dutch diarist of jewish heritage all right and as you know that during the uh, during the holocaust the jews were put under a lot of torture and unfortunately she was also one of the victims of the holocaust but definitely one of the most popular victims of the holocaust and she became popular posthumously which means after she passed away and it was because this diary this diary that uh, you know we are talking about uh, this diary that she used to write her daily journal in it was found by her father it was intact and when he read it he realized that this has to be printed because it gave a first hand account of what exactly was going on in those concentration camps and uh, you know uh, she gained fame posthumously uh, with the 1947 publication of the diary of a young girl in which basically she document uh, she documented her life in the hiding from 1942 to 1944 during the german occupation of netherlands in world war 2 and it is one of the world's best known books and uh, you know has been based on several plays and movies as well so now you know why she is so well known is because of the diary that she wrote now the story is based on the extracts from the book uh, you know from this particular diary uh, and uh, she was a young jewish girl who lived during the nazi era as i have already told you and uh, 
she along with her whole family you know she were they were put into the concentration camps where the jewish people were very very badly treated by the nazi soldiers and uh, what happened was that on one of her birthdays on her 13th birthday annie received a diary as a gift and since she did not have any close friends she you know she wanted to like any other teenager she wanted to you know discuss her lives and discuss whatever there was in her head whatever there was in her mind with somebody close and unfortunately although she had some friends and family around but she didn't have that one true friend that one true confidant that she could you know go and tell everything out jisko apna heart pura pour out kar sakti thi so what happened this diary became her best friend and it not only became a best friend it became a best friend to the point that she actually named it she named her diary what kitty and she would write daily journals in that diary you know unke dimag mein anne frank ke dimag mein jo bhi aata tha wo sab us diary mein wo likh dete the so she would write down all her thoughts in the diary like she would have shared it with one of her best friends with her best friend so and uh, after the war was over her father otto frank he was the only surviving member unfortunately of this family and he found the diary and when he read the diary he realized that it was a very unique and vivid very detailed account of annie's experience in the nazi camps in the concentration camps so he made sure that he published it and that is why it became such a known such a well known book eventually and it was published on 25th june 1947 and the name was the diary of a young girl so let us start with this story now uh, sabse pehle uh, you know annie is writing in the diary and she's you know uh, she's ex- expressing what she's thinking about this whole idea of writing in the diary she thinks that uh, you know writing down her thoughts is a very strange experience for her because you know after she had received that diary this is probably one of her first entries so she is saying that she has never written any anything before and who would want to be who would be interested to know uh, you know the thoughts the musings of a 13 year old school girl bhai kaun interested hoga ki ek 13 year old school girl ke dimag mein kya thoughts aate hain aur wo kya likh rahi hai so that is what she is thinking about while writing this particular piece and uh, she anyways uh, you know irrespective of that she decides to you know keep writing and she felt that she had a lot of thoughts in her head and uh, she wanted to get a lot of things off her chest it's a uh, it's a way of saying basically ki bahut bhara hua tha dimag mein unke thoughts and she wanted to pour it out and i mean if she had a very close friend she would have probably done it with you know she would have told him or her but unfortunately she did not have a very close friend there so what she did was she started writing down those thoughts and penning them down in her diary and she also felt that uh, paper has more patience than people what a beautiful line you know i think that uh, it makes a lot of sense because aapne bhi dekha hoga ki sometimes when you're trying to explain something to somebody you know maybe your friend your uh, a uh, family someone uh, you know from your, your from your family or your friend you might experience that that person does not uh, have the patience to properly listen to what you're trying to say but a diary a paper a piece of paper will never you know uh, uh, will never uh, run out of patience because it's 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 a paper it's a piece of paper you know you can just keep writing and you can keep writing as much as you want so that is why this comparison that paper has more patience than people i really like this line now uh one of these days uh, you know annie was feeling a little depressed because she was thinking she was uh, at home and she was getting bored and she was wondering should she go out or should she stay in the house well she finally decides wo finally kya decide karti hai wo finally decide karti hai ki uh, you know she would stay at home and she would uh, write the diary and uh, she wanted to share the contents of her diary which she has referred to as step back notebook kyun kyunki aapne dekha hoga ki diary mein kai baar aise hard uh, covers rehte so that is why step back notebook uh, and uh, she would only share the contents of her diary with someone if she found a real friend only if she found a very very real friend and nobody else so and uh, she talks about her family and friends you know loving parents 16 year old sister and 30 people that she called friends but she still felt that that one true friend that she would you know go and pour her heart out wo abhi tak unko nahi mila tha wo nahi mila tha and that is why kitty the diary was there and she would absolutely write her heart out in that diary and uh, like any teenager you know like any teenage boy or girl you know she wanted to just have fun and have a good time when she was with her friends 
एंड वॉट शी वुड यूज टू राइट इन अर डायरी जैसे कि मैंने आपको बताया डेली जर्नल यू नो शी वुड राइट अबाउट हर डे टू डे लाइफ एंड शी वुड मेक अ कॉन्स्टेंट एफर्ट एंड राइट इट डेली तो शी मेड यू नो शी मेड इट अ रेगुलर हैबिट to put down her thoughts in her diary which she called kitty and she felt that she was not able to get closer with people you know unko lagta tha although she had friends but she didn't have that uh, connect with one person or you know unko kuch ek filter tha jo matlab uh, that was hindering her to come close and i would say that it was probably because of the times the times were so uh, you know disturbing there was war going on there was so much death and destruction going on so to connect with people to have that normal sense of life was missing in everybody's life and that is what even annie was suffering from uh, she wanted to connect to people but she felt that she was not able to do so and this is the reason why she felt the need to write the diary and thoda sa pehle dekhte hain ki annie ka like bachpan kahan gaya tha so she lived in frankfurt till the age of 4 4 saal ki umar tak wo frankfurt mein rehti thi her father otto and mother edith hollander frank emigrated to holland in 1933 and 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 her sister margaret was sent to archen to stay with their grandparents now margaret went to holland in december so after you know they had grown up margaret went to holland in december and annie followed her in the coming month of february and it was almost like she was sent to margaret as a birthday gift you know plunk down is what is used in the text it means to casually put down like you know you put down a gift so it was uh, like you know for margaret's birthday annie was a surprise gift so annie also reached holland in february and waha pe unhone apni schooling chalu ki and she uh, you know uh, was admitted to a montessori montessori is a school which it's, it's it's a kind of an education system that involves free activity with prepared environment theek hai to bahut sari activity based uh, classes hote the bahut sari cheeze karne ko milti thi wahan pe and um, Uh, she was uh, you know in school until she was 6 uh, uh, until she was 6 year old she was in first form so first form you can compare it with standard 1 so jaise hum log yahan pe standard 1 2 3 4 class 1 2 3 4 bolte hain waise hi netherlands mein holland mein uh, form bolte the so when she was 6 year old she was admitted to form 1 and she stayed there uh, till she was in 6th uh, form and in 6th form annie's uh, teacher was mrs to paris and she was the headmistress as well jab sixth form khatam ho gaya so there was an uh, you know it was a hard breaking farewell because uh, itne saalon se wo log saath mein the and uh, the teacher was also in tears and so was annie and then what happened was that uh, you know in the subsequent summer uh, in the summer of 1941 annie's grandmom uh, you know felt really really ill and because of that uh, unko operation karna pada and एनी का जो बर्थडे था उस साल का वो थोड़ा सा जो है वो इतना सेलिब्रेशन नहीं हो पाया बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर रीजन एंड द फॉलोइंग ईयर अनफॉर्चुनेटली एनी इज ग्रैंड मदर पास अवे एंड यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट एनी एंड मार्गरेट दे वर बोथ सेंट टू देयर ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स सो दे वर यू नो व्हेन दे वर किड्स सो दे वर रियली अटैच्ड टू द ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स राइट सो यू नो इट वाज अ हार्ड यू नो फेयरवेल अ हार्ड पार्टिंग फ्रॉम यू नो द ग्रैंड मदर she had passed away and annie was very very sad and she used to often miss her grandmother and ye sab unhone apni diary mein bhi likha hai and ab ab jo hai ye sab to ho gaya hai ab ab wo likhti hai dearest kitty our entire class now we come to the present scenario theek hai to ab yahan pe kya ho raha hai ki ye ek class ki baat ho rahi hai yahan pe and kya bol rahi hai annie she is saying that dearest kitty our entire class is quaking in boots what does it mean it means that you are shaking with nervousness and why there is a reason the reason is that in the forthcoming meeting it will be decided who is promoted to the next class and who is you know not promoted to kon pass hone wala hai kon fail hone wala hai unke class mein pata chalne wala hai unko and that is why all uh, you know the classmates of any they are all nervous because results aane wale hai and aapko bhi pata hoga results aane ka jo feeling hota hai wo kaisa hota hai you are always nervous before your results whether you've done well or not but wo thoda sa nervousness to zarur hota hai right so uh, the reason uh, was the forthcoming meeting that i have already told you half the class is making bets wo kya likh rahe hain wo ye bol rahe hain ki jo class unke jo classmates hai wo log bets laga rahe hain ki kaun pass hoga kaun fail hoga she is referring to uh, her classmates here gn and i gn is her classmate and uh, you know uh, they are laughing at two boys behind who are those boys cn and jacques 
and what are they doing uh, they have bet their entire savings you know they have bet their entire savings ki kaun pass hoga aur kaun fail hoga so a very nervous yet fun 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 filled uh, you know environment in the class pata chalne wala hai ki kaun pass hone wala hai aur kaun fail hone wala hai so uh, if you would ask me now any same ki agar aap unse poocho uh, she thinks that there are so many dummies that the potter of the class should be kept back so dummies refer to the not so bright students right so uh, she is referring to uh, you know uh, the not so bright students and she is saying that agar aap meri mano to quarter of the class one fourth of the class should be held back because wo log padhai mein acche nahi hai and ani wasn't worried ani uh, wasn't worried uh, about herself or her girlfriends because they were pretty decent in their studies but except for one subject wo ek subject kaun sa tha wo subject tha mathematics tha yes so ani was a little nervous about her outcome of the math result and uh, uh, there were nine teachers uh, in that school there were seven men and two women and any got along well with all of them except for the math teacher so math subject jo hai unka thoda sa gadbad bhi tha aur math teacher ke sath bhi unka thoda panga tha and this is the crux of the this is the central point of this particular story this whole equation of the math teacher whose name is mr kissing and any frank what happens is that mr kissing is a strict person like any person back then in the times you know the times uh, back then in the times the school were much more stricter than what they are right now and uh, what was happening was that um, annie was a very talkative girl and because of that because of her talkative nature mr kissing just did not like annie's talkative behavior aur wo ek din bahut pareshan ho gaye aur unhone kya kiya unhone ek assignment de diya as a punishment to annie what was that assignment on what was the topic the topic was chatterbox you know what a chatterbox is right somebody who talks a lot so just do Uh, you know make any realize uh, that she talks a lot unhone ye topic jo hai wo ani ko de diya ab ani jo hai she is a very very smart girl so usne kya kiya pehle to usne ghar ja ke apna sara homework finish kiya and after that she started thinking about this topic of chatbox i began thinking about the subject while chewing the tip of my fountain pen aapne bhi dekha hoga kai baar you know uh, unconsciously when we are thinking about something and if you have a pen in a hand wo kai baar aise muh mein chala jata hai and you start chewing on it and then you realize are pen hai you know so that's what was happening she was thinking about the topic and she was chewing the uh, tip of her fountain pen and why because unhone socha ki i want to uh, give a very very convincing uh, you know piece of um, Uh, this thing, uh, my argument basically. Annie wanted to make sure कि वो एक convincing piece of argument लिखे ताकि Mr. Kissing को समझ में आए कि why students should be talkative, why should be, why should they be encouraged to talk rather than to stay quiet. And that kind of makes sense because imagine if uh, you are a student and if you have uh, thoughts in your head, if you have doubts in your head, and if you don't talk, how will you be able to convey your doubts, your uh, thoughts to the teacher? so actually in a way she is right but back in the days the schooling system was very strict and that is why you know uh, mr kissing just did not like the talkative nature of annie in any case she started writing and uh, she finished uh, a a page you know she finished this passage and how many pages uh, did she write she wrote three pages yes she had an idea and she wrote three pages mr kissing had assigned her ab unhone jo hai teen pages chatterbox ke upar likh diya and she stated that talking was important for students because that's what she believed in and she would try her best to keep it under control unhone ye bhi bola ki wo try karenge ki jitna kam ho sakta hai utna baat kare but she also made no promises of absolutely being quiet why because first of all she was a talkative girl and it is okay for her she didn't feel that she was doing anything wrong or understand this and unhone ye bhi likha ki that she had inherited this trait of talking and uh, you know from her mother and she will not be able to completely get rid of this habit all right so uh, hearing this everyone included ani and uh, you know uh, the teacher everybody had a good laugh mr kissing had a good laugh also so mr kissing had a good laugh at my arguments yahan pe sab first person se hai because it's a journal and i and my yahan pe jo bhi hai that is ani herself all right so uh, mr kissing had a good laugh at my arguments but when i proceeded to talk my way through the next lesson ab yahan pe to wo khush ho gayi thi but jaise hi unhone agle lesson mein baat karni shuru ki kya ho gaya yahan pe unko ek aur essay mil gaya why because uh, 
you know mr kising although at that time he had accepted this uh, you know this essay and he was also having a good laugh but unke dimag mein wahi tha ki bhai annie is a very very talkative girl and i am not liking this to jaise hi agle session mein thodi si zyada baat kar diya annie ne usko as a punishment ek aur topic de diya and the second time around the topic was an incorrigible chatterbox an incorrigible chatterbox yes that was the name of the topic so ab इसके बारे में भी आनी ने बहुत आराम से लिख दिया ठीक है शी वॉज यू नो शी वॉज अ ब्राइट चाइल्ड एंड शी वॉज शार्प विद इंटेलेक्ट एंड इंटेलिजेंस सो शी डिट वेस्ट एनी टाइम एंड शी सबमिटेड दैट टू एंड मिस्टर किसिंग हैड नथिंग टू कंप्लेन अबाउट फॉर टू होल लेसन तो अगले दो लेसन के लिए ये जब सेकेंड असाइनमेंट जो है हनी ने सबमिट कर दिया था तो अगले दो लेसन उसके बाद में कुछ नहीं बोला ठीक है उसके बाद में कुछ भी नहीं बोला मिस्टर किसिंग ने बट बाय द थर्ड लेसन फिर से बहुत ज्यादा बात कर रही थी एनी शी वॉज अगेन बींग टॉकेटिव टॉकेटिव एंड वॉट हैपन वॉज बाई दर्ड लेसन फाइनली हैड इन अब जो है अगेन दो लेसन तक तो कुछ नहीं बोला बट बार बार एनी बात किए जा रही थी क्लास के बीच में क्लास के बीच में बात की जा रही थी एंड मिस्टर की सिंह हैड इन अफ सो बाय द थर्ड लेसन शी मिस्टर की सिंह गेव अनदर असाइनमेंट एंड वॉट वॉज इट एनी प्रैंक एज पनिशमेंट फॉर टॉकिंग इन क्लास राइट एन एस ए टाइटल quack 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 said the mr chatterbox so now again another topic on the same similar uh, you know uh, topic uh, on the same uh, topic she was given but is bar kya tha the name of the uh, topic was quack 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 said mistress chatterbox so ab do bar already us topic pe ani likh chuki thi let's see what she does with this one because the topic is very very similar it's exactly the same just the words are different let us see what happens now jab ye quack 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 said mrs uh, uh, said mrs chatterbox suna bachcho ne bhi hansa even annie laughed but annie ko ye samajh mein aaya ki is bar matlab she has to turn this joke on mr kissing right because uh, mr kissing was trying to make fun of her so that you know uh, because of uh, making fun of her she might stop talking that's what mr kissing uh, mr kissing wanted बट ऐसा हुआ नहीं बिकॉज हमारी एनी जो थी ना शी वॉज अ वेरी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग माइंडेड गर्ल एंड शी वॉज सर्टन अबाउट वॉट शी वॉज सपोज टू राइट तो उन्होंने क्या किया उन्होंने एक पोएम लिखा इस बार ठीक है सो शी वॉन्टेड टू टर्न दिस जोक ऑन मिस्टर की सिंह एंड शी रोड अ पोएम एंड वॉट वॉज अ टॉपिक दैट शी चोज शी रोड अ पोएम अबाउट अ मदर डक एंड अ फादर स्वॉन एंड थ्री बेबी डकलिंग्स ठीक है थ्री बेबी डकलिंग्स हु वर बिटन टू डेथ by the father because they quacked too much so you can see there is a symbolism here you know the father duck uh, the father swan is basically you know referring to a person who is uh, very strict about kids not talking and who is that person in this story in the context of the story it is mr kissing so you see how uh, you know annie was able to turn this joke on mr kissing rather than you know getting Uh, embarrassed and humiliated by uh, this topic and bar bar usko pick out karke wo bol rahe the ki aap bahut baat karte ho aap bahut baat karte ho but annie did not let that get uh, you know um, get, annie did not let that affect her basically and what she did was she turned this joke around on mr kissing and wrote this you know really um, really witty poem where she wrote about a mother duck and a father swan and the three ducklings who were bitten to death by the father because they quacked too much so basically in a way she was showing uh, mr kissing ki you know aap bahut zyada hi mujhe bolte ho bar 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 mujhe bolte ho ki baat mat karo baat mat karo and that is what she was trying to convey in a very funny way through this poem all right so this time uh, you know ani as i told you you know she wrote about this particular topic and uh, mr kissing luckily you know wo gussa bhi ho sakte the because he must have understood that Uh, the father's uh, character the father swan's character is very similar to mr kissing so but he took the joke in a right manner he took it in the good spirit and unhone jo hai is poem ko he read this poem out loud in the class as well so i think that this impacted the right way this impact this poem impacted mr kissing the right way he must have understood ki itna zyada bhi bolna nahi chahiye bachcho ko ki chup ho jao because that is what ani prank was trying to convey through this particular poem and uh, he read this poem out loud to the class and us din se unhone jo hai unhone ani prank ko baat karne se nahi roka so since then uh, i have been i yahan pe ani hai as you know 
आई हैव बीन अलाउड टू टॉक एंड हैवन बीन असाइंड एनी एक्स्ट्रा होमवर्क तो ना उनको और पनिशमेंट दिया ना पनिशमेंट के हिसाब से कोई असाइनमेंट दिए मिस्टर की सिंह ने ना ही उनको बात करने से रोका ऑन द कॉन्ट्ररी ऑन द कॉन्ट्ररी मिस्टर की सिंह यू नो स्टार्टेड मेकिंग जोक्स एज वेल तो वो भी जो है थोड़े से लाइट हार्टेड हो गए अपनी स्ट्रिक्टनेस को उन्होंने कम कर दिया एंड ही ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड मेकिंग जोक्स एज वेल सो दिस इज वेर दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जर्व फ्रॉम दिस डायरी ऑफ एनी फ्रैंक एंड एंड द बेसिक क्रक्स ऑफ द स्टोरी इज वेरी सिंपल समाइम्स you know a uh, a grown up person can also learn new things and good things from a child as well you know we should not have this preconceived notion ki jo bade hote hain wahi log unka hi perspective sahi hota hai bhai kai baar bacche bhi jo hai na wo log bhi bahut achhi baatein keh jate hain and everybody should uh, take a note of that and you know you should not think ki you can only learn from grown ups in this case as you could see mr kissing was a very strict man and who did not like anis talkative manner eventually through this poem and uh, you know she was uh, she was being punished by mr kissing constantly because of her talkative nature but after reading, reading this poem unhone jo hai ye samjha ki you know being talkative is it's good it's good for uh, children to be talkative it's good for students to be talkative and ask and talk and you know ask questions it's it's normal there's nothing wrong with it he understood this mr kissing understood this and he also became less strict he also started cracking jokes so um that is where this particular story ends and uh, i hope that you guys have been able to understood you guys who have has taken this journey through the story with me over the past few minutes that we have you know discussed this uh, this whole story mujhe ye ummeed hai ki aap logo ko ye story ka pura ka pura jo explanation achhi tarah se samajh mein aaya hai and you have been able to understand what is the main crux of the story and the main crux as i have told you is that anybody can learn good things from anyone age is not a factor right bade jo grown ups hote they can also learn things from a small child a teenager and jo chote bachche hote wo bhi apne age ke bachcho se bhi seekh sakte hain and they can also learn things from grown ups it all depends on what makes logical sense that's all so boys and girls on that note uh, you know i hope that this chapter is clear for you guys this is me Arman Chatterjee your English educator signing off have a good day bye bye